Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video um, by myself, Juliet Denny. Um, today we're going to talk about a really, really difficult part of learning technologies and corporate training, and that is how you actually get behaviour change. And there's a model today that I want to talk to you about, and it's called the Hook Model. Okay, so that's what today's video is all about. So. First of all, I think we can all agree that changing our behaviour, whether it is in our own personal life, losing weight, getting fitter, or trying to get a new set of behaviours into a sales team, a new set of behaviours in terms of information security, out to an organisation, these are really difficult things to do, okay? Because as humans, uh, just because we know something doesn't mean to say it's going to have an automatic effect on the actual behaviour that we display. OK, and a change management process, be that putting in a new, you know, um, ERP system or, you know, a new way of selling something. It is about the behavior that actually happens once we've got the training. OK, and this is a really, really difficult thing that training departments and L&D departments have to struggle with. It's OK delivering the training, but if it makes little or no impact in terms of the way people are actually behaving, fundamentally, we've kind of wasted our money, right? So this is why this hook model is really, really important, okay? So I want to talk about the hook model um, by a guy called uh, Near Isle. And it was a, a book that he wrote called Hooked, How to Build Habit-Forming Products, okay? So if you guys want to know a bit more about this, then check out that book. So first of all, what is um, a behavior change or what is a habit, okay? Just so we're all clear and we all know what we're talking about. A habit is something that... It's a pattern behavior that happens unconsciously. You just automatically do it, right? So if, you know, you guys out there who go to the gym re reg regularly, you go so regularly that it would be like, why wouldn't you just go every day? You know, it becomes like one of those things that you're like, actually, if I don't do it, I feel more weirded out than if I did, okay? But in order to get to that good habit, you have to consistently work hard at basically doing something that your body might be uncomfortable of doing for a period of time. And this is what this book touches on, okay? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to replicate behavior daily um, that basically forms a pattern of behavior and a new set of behaviors, okay? Um, and once we've got in to these new behavior patterns, they're very difficult to give up because the brain doesn't have a lot of space and what the brain likes to do is go, right, okay, I've now got this new good habit, I don't want to think about it, okay? Because there's so, your brain is being impacted by so many different things. The difference between having a, a new set of behaviors, a new habit, is they are unconscious. It's like your drive to work, right? You know, you're just driving to work, you don't necessarily think about it, right? It's the same type of thing. So it's obviously important to realise you have good habits and you have bad habits. And what we want to do is when we're delivering out training programmes, either in the real world or online, what we want to do is we really want to focus on how we build that new set of behaviours. And that's really what the hook model is about. Because fundamentally, what the brain, I mean, a great example of this is Barack Obama or you've probably heard of Steve Jobs. You know, they only wear, you know certain, or Steve Jobs did wear, you know, a set of jeans and a white t-shirt. Mark Zuckerberg is the same. Barack Obama only has two things for lunch. You know, the Sage of Omaha, exactly the same. Only eats McDonald's for, you know, for breakfast. Because you don't want to be thinking about new things. And this is really the quid pro quo for developing a habit. You don't actually have to think about it. Um, now, the issue is, is that actually forming a new set of behaviour, as we know in learning and development, and as we know in training departments, is actually really difficult. And on a personal level, we also know that's really difficult because how many of us have said, right, my New Year's resolution is to read a book a day, um, and then, you know, 80% of, of us have already failed to do that. So, you know, um, or the gym, or, you know, no, no more glasses of wine in the evening, or whatever, whatever it is, right? We, we fail constantly. So what we need to do is find a way of giving ourselves a bit of gratitude, a bit of love, um, and to find a way of making, forming a new habit, which could be seen as difficult, very attractive to do. And again, that's where the hook model uh, comes in. So the idea here is, is that the hook model is basically a four-step process, okay? First of all, um, it's, first of all, there's a trigger, right? So that could be, in the area of learning development, that could be, right, a new piece of learning is coming my way, okay? So I'm going to trigger this event um, with something, an action, right? So that could be, you know, let's kick off this program, let's start learning together. Then you need to do something back, right? 
So you're going to buy uh, something to the gym, you're going to walk into the gym. Then you actually need to do something on the treadmill or do something with the weight machine or whatever, right? So that is the action, that's the next thing. And then in order to do that, and this is sometimes where we go wrong, you need a variable reward, okay? On a platform, on a learning technologies platform such as growth engineering, you will get a reward for doing that. So that could be a badge, it could be XP, it could be leveling up, it could be social kudos, it could be any of the things we're talking about. In the real world, right, you're going to the gym, you've made the gym, uh, you've you know, gone on the, on the treadmill, then you need to reward yourself, but a good reward, right? So don't come out of the gym going, God, I really need a reward in here for the chocolate. What you're doing is you're you know, getting yourself a healthy juice or whatever it might be. But if you think about this model, before you try and develop a new habit, you're more likely to be able to stick with what you say you're gonna do, okay? So now we've gone through the third, so we've got a trigger, action, then we're gonna give ourselves some reward, and then finally what we're gonna do is we are gonna have a sense of investment, okay? So what that means in our personal life is we're gonna thank ourselves for giving ourselves a really good workout. We're gonna praise ourselves for not having a Big Mac for the third day in a row. We're gonna praise ourselves for the small investment of not having, you know, wine two days on the trot, okay? But we are gonna consciously do that with our brains, and in the same way, if you're on a learning platform or you are going to say, you're gonna share that, uh, investment, that reward that you've been given with a pool of people, okay? So that investment you feel is paying off. That's the critical thing here. So by understanding there's going to be a trigger, you're then going to do something, you then need to reward yourself for doing it, and then you need to see the investment. So obviously over time, if you go to the gym, you're going to see your body change. If you're losing weight, you're going to see you know yourself losing weight. Um, and if you're learning, you're going to see the investment that not only immediately on a platform because you're going to get you know rise up in the leaderboard but also you should see that investment in your behavior as well so if it sells you should, should see your, your your sales go up so applying the um models it can be applied anywhere whether it's you know we've gone through joining the gym we've gone through reading we've even gone through not drinking wine every single night um or it can be deployed in learning technologies the key thing is is to get your mind thinking about the power of this model to change your behavior and so often what we do is we just think about the trigger we just think right okay i'm gonna have to go to the gym whereas we don't do the other two things which are give yourself a reward give yourself a pat on the back and also think about the investment you've made and take pride in that um, so whether you're talking about a learning technologies platform and it's gamified and it's about social kudos or whether it's just reading more books and thinking wow you know i know something i didn't know from the last time, you really need to have those last two things, which is about you know, saying well done and giving yourself that sense of investment so that you want to do it again, yeah? So, final words. Um, learning technologies, um, you can use all sorts of different mechanics in the world of gamification in order to get that, okay? So if you think about you being in a, a classroom, you know, you could get the, the reward, you could get the, the, the kudos, you could get that sense of investment by progress cards, by streaks, lots of different things. But in the world of learning technologies, what we're doing is we're using uh, learning technologies in terms of badges, XPs, streaks, social kudos, all of those types of things in order to uh, make sure that the, 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 the hook model really, really is embedded to your sense of learning and progression. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks a lot. Hi guys, my name's Juliet Denny and um, I'm from a company called Growth Engineering. I hope that you enjoy these videos. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. Um, I also hope that you comment and you give us some questions because otherwise, how am I going to know what you want to learn about in future? So I want your comments and I want your feedback. And then most importantly, it would be really great if you could subscribe to the channel and then when I'm delivering out new content and hopefully I'm asking, uh, answering questions that you guys have asked me, you'll know when I post another video. So thank you very much and thank you for being part of my learning tribe.